In the 16th and 17th century, Dutch sailors uh, had a multitude of different types of headwear, from fur caps to knitted caps, even to felt hats. Uh, felt hats were unpractical to, to wear aboard a ship. Uh, the English often call, called these hats slouch hats, because they were just able to be just thrown in a sea chest and forgot about. We often see them uh, when sailors are or in harbors or on land. But there is a type of headwear that is synonymous with sailors in the, in the late 16th and throughout the 17th century, and that's the thrum cap. The thrum cap is characterized by its mop-like appearance. As you can see, it has a kind of shaggy appearance. Uh, thrum caps are made from uh, knitted caps uh, with either thread or roving uh, pulled through, uh, through the stitches and then felted. These outside fibers direct moisture downwards so, does it do so that it doesn't soak into the cap. You can find uh, low crown and high crown variations. The most common colors were natural sheep colors, so uh, gray, brown and black. But there were also uh, dyed versions were also popular. Uh, for instance, yellow, uh, green and red. As the 17th century goes on, we start to see the thrum cap less and less. Uh, from about uh, 1650, it's not the most common way anymore to depict a Dutch sailor, but uh, you still see them occasionally. The most common way to depict a sailor uh, from uh, in the second half of the 17th century is with a brimmed knitted cap, sometimes called a Peter the Great or a brimmed Monmouth. And if you have any questions about this video or any other of our other videos, please leave it in the comments uh, so we all can learn and grow together.